Magandang buhay po at welcome po muli dito sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong ididiscuss ay the nature of roots of quadratic equation. So para ma-determine po natin kung ano yung nature of roots of quadratic equation, kailangan po natin isolve yung discriminant. So in this video, ipipresent ko po kung paano po mag-compute ng discriminant in a step-by-step -step process. So ano nga ba ang discriminant? Ang discriminant po ay isa pong formula. D is equal to B squared minus 4AC. Ang D po dyan represent the discriminant. So, ano nga po ba ito? It is used to characterize the roots of quadratic equation. So, magkocompute po tayo ng discriminant. And then, sa nakompute po nating discriminant, doon po natin malalaman, ano nga po ba yung nature of roots of quadratic equation. So, ipapaliwanag ko po yung four cases na discriminant. At mula po sa discriminant, malaman po natin yung nature of roots of quadratic equation at malaman din po natin yung number of real roots. Pero bago po tayo magpatuloy, click lang po muna ang like and then yung subscribe pag di pa po kayo nakasubscribe sa aking channel, then yung notification bell upang sa ganon ay ma-update po kayo sa iba pang video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Okay, so for case 1. Kapag ang discriminant is equal to 0. Okay? Examples. Find the discriminant and describe the nature of roots and the number of real roots. Okay? Number 1. X squared plus 6X plus 9 equal to 0. So, ano po yung first step natin na gagawin? Kukunin po natin yung value ng A, B, and C mula sa ating quadratic equation. But be sure na yung ating quadratic equation ay nasa standard form bago natin kunin yung value ng a, b, and c. Since sa ating equation, standard form na po siya. So kunin na po natin yung value ng a, b, and c. So ano po yung a po natin dyan? Ang a po ay numerical coefficient ng x squared. So wala ka po ang nakikitang value ng a dyan. So mean to say, ang a po dyan ay 1. Okay? And then b, since that is plus 6x, So, ibig sabihin, positive 6 yung ating B. And then, yung ating pong C, constant natin, that is 9. So, plus 9, kaya positive 9. So, after po natin makuha yung value ng A, B, and C, substitute po natin sa ating discriminant, D is equal to B squared minus 4AC. So, substitute po natin. Ang B po natin dyan ay 6. So, 6 squared, kasi B squared po yung formula natin. Minus... 4, what is our A? Ito po, so 1. So 4 times 1, kasi yung 4AC is 4 times A times C. So 4 times 1 times, ano po yung C? 9. Okay, so simplify po natin. 6 square po ay 36. 6 times 6 po yun. Minus 4 times 1 times 9 is equal to 36. Okay, and then subtract 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. So, if you notice, yung discriminant po natin ay 0. So, kapag 0 po yung ating discriminant, ang nature of roots po niya ay real and equal. So, ibig sabihin, pareho po yung roots. So, therefore, the number of real roots is 1. Okay, so another example for case 1. Number 2. 2x squared minus 12x plus 18 is equal to 0. So, naglagay po ako ng minus dyan. Kasi yung unang example ay puro plus po, puro positive. Okay, yung first step po natin dyan ay kunin natin yung values ng A, B, and C. Be sure lang po na nasa standard form yung equation natin. So, equation po dito na number 2 ay standard form. So, kunin po natin yung A, B, and C. Ang A po ay 2. Yan. Ang B po natin dyan ay since minus 12x. So, ibig sabihin, negative 12 ang B po natin. And then, yung ating C po, since plus 18, so... Positive 18 po ang C. Okay, substitute po natin sa formula. So, D is equal to, ano po yung B po natin dyan? Negative 12. So, ilagay po natin dyan, negative 12 square. Minus 4 times, ano po yung A natin? 2. So, 4 times 2. Times, ano po yung C? 18. Okay, so simplify po natin. So, D is equal to, negative 12 square, meaning to say, negative 12 times negative 12. And that is positive 144 minus 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 18 is equal to 144. If you notice here, 
if you subtract 144 minus 144, the discriminant is equal to 0. So again, if the discriminant is 0, the nature of roots is real and equal, and the number of real roots is equal to 1. Okay, so for case 2, kapag ang ating pong discriminant is greater than 0 and perfect square. So ano po ba yun? So ito po yung ating examples. Number 1, x squared plus 7x plus 10 equal to 0. So again, nasa standard form na po yung ating quadratic equation. So pwede na pong kunin yung values ng a, b, and c. So yung ating a po dyan, again, that is 1. Ang b po natin, since plus 7x, so positive 7, at ang ating pong C, constant, since plus 10, so positive 10. Okay? Substitute po natin sa ating formula. So, D is equal to, what is B? 7, so 7 square minus 4 times A po natin ay 1 times ang C po natin ay 10. So, simplify po natin, 7 square is 49 minus 4 times 1 times 10 is 40. So, if you're going to subtract, 49 minus 40, that is 9. Ito po yung sinasabi po niyang, kapag ang discriminant ay greater than 0. So, yung 9 po is greater than 0. Mas malaki po sa 0 yung 9. At perfect square. So, yung 9 po ay perfect square number po siya. So, kapag ganyan po yung nakuha natin na discriminant, ang nature of fruits po niya ay rational and unequal. So, ibig sabihin, yung roots po ng quadratic equation na makukuha natin ay magkaiba. So, ibig sabihin, the number of real roots is 2. Okay, so second example for case 2. x squared minus 6x minus 16 equal to 0. So, yung first step dyan ay kunin po natin yung value ng a, b, and c kapag nasa standard form na po yung quadratic equation. Since yung quadratic equation po ay nasa standard form na po, so kunin na po natin. So, yung a po dyan ay 1. Ang b po ay, since minus 6x, so negative 6 yung b po natin. At yung ating pong c constant, since minus 16, kaya negative 16 yung ating pong c. So, substitute po natin sa ating formula. D is equal to, ang b po natin dyan ay negative 6, so negative 6 square minus 4 times a po natin ay 1, so times 1, times ang c po ay negative 16, so times negative 16. Okay, simplify po natin. So negative 6 square is positive 36. If you notice here, minus 4 times 1 times negative 16, dalawa po yung negative natin dyan, yung negative 4 at negative 16 kasi minus 4. So magiging plus po iyan. Ano po? So 4 times 1 is 4 times 16 is 64. So 36 plus 64 po iyan. Ano po? So this will become this equal to 36 plus 64 is 100. If you notice, yung ating pong discriminant ay greater than 0 and perfect square number. Okay, so perfect square po ang 100. So, yung nature of roots po niya ay rational and unequal at yung number of real roots po niya ay 2. Okay, so for case 3, kapag ang discriminant po natin is greater than 0 pero hindi perfect square. Okay, so example number 1. x squared plus 5x minus 10 equal to 0. So again, the same process, kunin po natin yung value ng a, b, and c kapag nasa standard form na po yung ating quadratic equation. Since nasa standard form na po yung x squared plus 5x minus 10 equal 0, so kunin na po natin yung value ng a, b, and c. So, ang a po natin dyan again is 1. Ang b po ay since plus 5x, so positive 5. At ang c po natin dyan ay since negative or minus 10, so negative 10 po ang c. So, substitute po natin sa ating discriminant or formula. This equal to, ang b po ay positive 5, so 5 square minus 4 times, ang a po natin dyan ay 1, so times 1, times c is negative 10. So, simplify, 5 square is 25, so that is 5 times 5. So, again, in this case, minus 4 
times 1 times negative 10. So, dalawa po yung negative yan. Consider po natin yung 4 na negative kasi minus 4 yun. So, magiging negative times negative is positive. So, plus yan. 4 times 1 is 4 times 10 is 40. So, if you're going to add, 25 plus 40 is 65. So, yung discriminant po natin dyan ay greater than 0. So, mas malaki po sa 0. Pero, hindi perfect square. Ang 65 po ay not perfect square. Okay? So, yung nature of roots po niya ay irrational and unequal. So, ibig sabihin, ang number of real roots po niyan ay 2. Okay? So, how about for case 4? Kapag ang ating pong discriminant ay less than 0. So, ibig sabihin, negative po yung ating discriminant. So, example, x squared plus 3x plus 5 equal to 0. So, again, kunin po natin yung kanyang value ng a, b, and c. So, yung a po natin dyan ay 1 kasi 1x squared yan. Ang b po ay positive 3 at ang c po dyan ay positive 5 since plus 5. So, substitute po natin sa ating discriminant or formula. So, ang b po natin is 3. So, 3 square minus 4 times ang a po natin dyan ay 1 times ang c po natin dyan ay 5. So, simplify. 3 square is 9 since 3 times 3 minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. If you notice, subtract 9 minus 20, that is negative 11. So, ito po yung sinasabi ng case 4 na kapag ang discriminant ay less than 0. So, ibig sabihin negative number. So, kapag negative number ang discriminant, ang nature of roots is no real roots. Kapag no real roots, ibig sabihin yung number ng real roots ay 0. Okay, so let's have an activity para may apply po natin yung knowledge natin about the four cases of the nature of roots of quadratic equation. Solve the discriminant and determine the nature of roots of the following quadratic equations. So, we have 1 to 4 quadratic equations. Kukulin po natin yung kanyang discriminant at kukulin din po natin yung nature of roots of the given quadratic equation. Okay, so for number 1. X squared minus 3X is equal to 9. If you notice, yung ating pong quadratic equation ay hindi po standard form. So, hindi po natin makukuha kaagad yung value ng A, B, and C. So, kailangan nasa standard form siya. So, to make it standard form, ilipat po natin yung constant na 9 sa left side. So, magiging X squared minus 3X plus 9 siya or positive 9 magiging negative pag ilipat sa kabila. So, magiging minus 9. Ang matitira po sa right side ay 0. So, standard na po yung ating equation. So, kunin na po natin yung value ng A, B, and C. So, yung A po natin dyan ay 1. Ang B po ay since minus 3x, kaya negative 3. At ang C po natin since minus 9, kaya negative 9. And then, substitute po natin sa ating discriminant. So, this equal to, ang B po natin dyan ay negative 3. So, negative 3 square minus 4 times ang A po ay 1, so times 1, times C. Ang C po ay negative 9, so times negative 9. So, simplify, negative 3 square, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then, magiging, since yan po ay minus 4, times 1 times negative 9, dalawa po yung negative dyan. So, magiging positive. Ano po? So, 4 times 1 is 4, times 9 is 36. So, if you add 9 plus 36, that is equal to 45. So, yung ating pong discriminant ay greater than 0 but not perfect square. Okay, so, ilagay po natin dito, ang discriminant ay 45. So, ang nature of roots ay irrational and unequal. So, kayo na po ang gumawa o magsagot ng number 2, 3, and 4. At i-comment lang po sa comment box at check po natin kung tama po yung inyong sagot. Okay, so salamat po sa inyong panood. Nawa po ay natulungan ko kayo sa inyong aralin. Kung meron po kayong katanungan, i-comment lang po sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking reply. Don't forget lang po na i-like at i-subscribe upang sa ganun kapag ako po ay nag-reply ay manotify po kayo sa aking reply.